I'm not going to try to spell it. Just write down Frank. It's fine. Then we'll write in some scores. Draw some fucking pictures if you want. I don't care. That guy got two stick figures. I don't know what that means, but that's what he got. You guys want to keep this show rolling along? Yeah. There we go, guys. That's the energy I needed. Guys, give it up for your next comic, Mr. Hakeem Coombs, everybody. I just want to say I want to thank the Philadelphia 76ers for having the best team motto ever. And that's trust the process. And I think that's a great bell out phrase for men. Watch. Ladies, if your man can't get it up and he told you to trust the process, how much more time are you gonna give him? <laughs> I'm just asking. I digress. I digress. I digress. Listen, I wanna tell you something. It's not easy being big and tall at the same time. Because people perceive us differently. Like I'll show you. If a normal sized guy stands next to a door all day long, nobody will say anything to him. But if I stand next to that exact same door, within a minute, people walk up to me and hand me their IDs. <laughs> That's bias. One guy walked up to me and handed me his ID. I'm like, what is this, sir? He's like, it's my ID, aren't you the bouncer? I'm like, no, sir, this is a Starbucks. Walk in. <laughs> Starbucks don't be having no bouncers. This bias, I'm having some serious issues with doors, man. You know what I'm saying? I was going into a fast food restaurant, and this guy held the door open for me. I'm like, thank you. He says, hold it. He called a friend, Raul, to open up the other door for me. Two doors? Does it look like I need to go through two doors? What you think, the, the size of the doors are electrified and if I touch them, it's gonna be like operation and buzz? Like, you're too fat, you're too fat! I gotta go through sideways? Oh, it, 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 was, um, it was a Burger King I was going into. It was a Burger King. And I love Burger King. Because they got, they got, they got, they got a great deal, right? They got where well, you can get two Whoppers, two fries, and two drinks for $10. That's a great deal. Only problem is they give you one cookie. What the hell two fat people gonna do with one cookie? I lost my girlfriend over that. And McDonald's is biased towards big people too. They trying to kill us. Real talk, breakfast and lunch served at the same time? That's two things fat people are not supposed to see at the same time. It's breakfast and lunch, because we don't know how to behave when we see breakfast and lunch served at the same time. Because we gonna experiment with the menu and do things we're not supposed to do. I take a Big Mac and put it between two hotcakes and try to make a Super McGriddle. <laughs> We're not supposed to do that. And Chulute or Chipotle, what we call them, Chipotle, they stingy with their food. One scoop of meat in your taco bowl? Look at me, what I'm gonna do with one scoop of meat? I'm paying $10 for one scoop of meat. I say, yo, let me get another scoop of meat, man. Two scoops, you know what I'm saying? He says, I can't. I said, why? He said, because there's a meat camera watching me. A meat camera? What's that guy doing me? Give me the manager, give me the manager. The manager came out with a ruler and scale. He said, according to our guidelines, you have a sufficient amount of meat in your bowl. I said, damn, man, really? Raisin brand gives you two scoops of raisins. <laughs> JetBlue is biased towards big people, too. Because they tape measure people of a certain size. They tape measure me. He said, up, oh, sir. You gotta pay for a whole row. A whole row? How many seats is a whole row? He says, four seats. <laughs> four seats? I said, no, you're mistaken. Because on the New York subways, I only take up three seats. <laughs> you off by one seat. And Uber is biased towards big people too. Really, man. They ain't biased because when they see me, they cancel my trip. Because <laughs> they think I'm too big and I don't wanna break their back seats. Have you ever had to sneak up on your Uber? And they hide where they can't see you. When they pull up, they don't see you. Is it? I'm in. You can't cancel me now. You ever been so fat and so big and Uber, you had to lean up forward and hold on to the front seat just to make room? You're looking at your driver, how you doing? The driver said, you need an Uber XL. You need an SUV. I tried it, I got me an SUV. And that driver says, where's the rest of your party? This is for four people or more. 
I said, according to JetBlue, I am four people. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got two twin nine-year-old daughters. You know what I'm saying? But I can't wear certain things around them. I can't wear purple around them. Because if I wear purple around them, they think I'm Barney the Dinosaur. <laughs> and I got to send the I Love You song in different variations. Country, rock, pop. Their favorite is trap music. I love you. You love me. We want big, happy family. Percocet. You're wearing that for gaze. I'm Barney. They love that version. I'm from New York, and um, I can't go on 42nd Street, Times Square, because not only my little girls think I'm their favorite character, German tourists think I'm their favorite character. Because they love the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> Uncle Phil, shall we take picture together? Can you do the Carlton dance? Uncle Phil don't do the Carlton dance. When the last time you saw Uncle Phil on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air doing this? <laughs> Let me see if Germany is doing something I don't know about. Go back to Germany and watch David Hasselhoff. Leave me alone, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, King Coombs. Take care. Hakeem Coombs, everybody. Yeah. Right? Everybody pencils. I don't see you writing shit down. What's going on? You, know, you cheat sheet? You cheating off her? Unbelievable. He's not writing shit. You guys are cheating off people? All right, guys. Good enough. Are we ready? Just one yes in the front. Okay, that hurts me a little bit, but that's fine. 